Leos, how are we doing today? This is your bi-weekly reading from October 16th to 31st. If this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. If it doesn't, check your moon and rising because you could be in that energy as well. All right. Leo, you're about to have good two weeks here. Um, for starting off with the victory card, so if there's something that you have been waiting for, um, it seems like it's finally here. Whatever it is that you have been waiting on, uh, whether that's a promotion, a relationship, a new, um, uh, anything really, anything that we are quite found a little bit challenging, feeling um, that hasn't been kind of going our way, it's here for this two weeks. Major victory coming in for you, whatever it is. I love that. It also is followed by the Wheel of Fortune, so you can't get any better than that. Honestly, it means that the wheel is spinning in your favor. You're going to start to see that things will be happening for you. So, if you felt like you were in a period where maybe stuff wasn't happening, maybe you were questioning the divine or the timing, um, here it seems like the wheel is finally going to be spinning in your favor. So there's going to be some good luck coming your way. Um, interesting all right we have the page of swords reversed which means someone's kind of holding back communication from you uh, maybe you had to block someone here or maybe you had to um uh, not communicate with someone in a way the knight of wands is coming in right after it so maybe um if this was um a, another fire sign or this is kind of um someone that uh, maybe has been a lover to you or someone that was kind of passionate there's maybe some blocking that way i kind of want to see more what this page of swords is reversed what is this is page of swords I'm just gonna say it, just this may not be you, don't take this personally, but it seems like there might be a third party kind of situation that some of you maybe had to block or, or um, get rid of here. Um, again, maybe some of you, I don't know, maybe you're um, polyamorous, maybe you brought someone else in, but it seems like there's a cutting off communication with some kind of passionate connection here. Um, someone, um, again, it, it is a three of cups, so it could mean a third party situation, or it generally, Leo, it could also just mean um, someone in your friend group as well or social group um, that you maybe had to stop communicating with um, here. Maybe things were getting a little tense between you guys and that kind of thing. I don't know. I'm just saying that there's some kind of passion here um, with maybe a third person or a third party um, kind of um, thing and that you had to kind of nip in the bud um, a little bit here. You also have the two of wands. Some major things coming towards you here. You're really feeling empowered. You're feeling like the world is your hand. Um, in your hand here, got some truth coming out. What is this? Honestly, Leo, I think this is going to be a really good, strong two weeks for you. We have the Seven of Swords reversed, and we have the Temperance card. It means uh, uh, Seven of Swords reversed is kind of like being like, hey, it's like. Um, uh, people around you are being truthful right now and there's no one no kind of sneaky energy here there's no kind of behind the pack um energy here as well um whatever is kind of on the surface is on the surface people are kind of being truthful around you so just trust that we also have temperance so you might be dealing with the sagittarius here as well if not it just means you are in a good balance right now you're emotionally kind of balanced place and honestly when i feel like we fill up our own cups here when we feel um in this kind of a peace if we feel this imbalance with our, with our balance within ourselves that's when things start to happen for us because it radiates that balance to the universe um, is the energy I'm kind of feeling with this so I think you're working on that right now you're working on filling up your own cup you know making your own happiness here having that level of kind of zen um, about you Leo um, in these coming weeks you're making good decisions and things are going to start to move in your favor because of these good decisions that you're making um, you really do feel like you have the world in your hands might be feeling this kind of surge of energy in these two weeks. For Leo, please. For Leo, please. So I'm just pulling some cards too. What is this choice? All right, looks like we might be moving or locating, um, changing locations as well. This might be kind of the victory that you're having coming in here. Um, the Four of Swords popping out, um, or sorry, the Four of Swords. 
sorry, I'm, I'm obviously losing it. I need a coffee. The Six of Swords. Um, some of you might be moving on from something here. Again, maybe this is moving on from something of the past, some past energy where things aren't working out, um, or you're kind of noticing that stuff now. It also can mean a physical uh, move as well. Um, so maybe you are changing locations here, moving somewhere else for a job. Maybe this is the victory that you're having, something to do with a move um, or traveling here. Uh, maybe you, whatever it is, seems like things are kind of working in your favor, especially if you're trying to plan something like a move or a trip. It seems like it will be moving again, like I was saying, in your favor and there's going to be a major victory. It's almost going to feel like that was easy. I feel like you really feel and see that the universe is providing you these gifts now. Um, you might be seeing angel numbers, you might be getting messages and the signs of um, anything, any kind of sign. So just be open to that um, right now. Again, num angel numbers could be really strong. Um, you could be having um, information coming to you and um, uh, dreams and um, little things. Just always make sure you kind of notice, especially if you feel like, oh, that reminds me of this, or this reminds me of a sign, um, to really acknowledge it and be thankful for it, because um, it is a sign that you are doing the right thing here, that you are on the right path. Um, there might be some decisions here with your finances, though. You might be at a crossroads state. Um, there might be, you might be spending a little bit too much money, so you might be kind of moving into saving mode right now, um, or kind of, um, in a state right now of, ch of kind of making some financial decisions in these two weeks. So again, maybe you are kind of seeing if you can kind of afford it to move here. Maybe you're spending a little bit too much money. So now you're kind of going to focus on your cash. You're going to focus kind of on your coins and, and growing that um, here. Because it looks like, again, there is some decision to be made over kind of overspending here um, or spending too much. Maybe you're going to go into a saving mode um, because you're kind of a little worried about, ooh, okay, my debt is getting a little high here so you gotta move away from that. Really oh please. Leo. Maybe this reading is for it's like I want this reading. This is the reading I want for myself here. I'm a side real Leo so Hey, here, I'll claim it. Um, we have the judgment card popping out. It's judgment time, you know, you're gonna really see. It. You, uh, the judgment card for me is kind of like, um, here it is, are we going to make the switch? Are we going to make the decision? Are we going to trust the universe? Are we, you know, like they see they're all kind of holding up their hands here to um, this angel here and in kind of devotion. And I really feel like you should be these people kind of looking up right now, saying thank you, working with the universe. I keep really getting that because again, there seems like there's new, there's this new project here, Page of Pentacles, and it looks like you're nurturing something here financially. So again, it seems like there's some financial decisions coming in for you for these two weeks. Um, um, here as well um, but it seems like there is also this new financial start for you so maybe it is going back to school maybe it's something creating um, a new opportunity for financial abundance for yourself the page is all about kind of what we're nurturing what we kind of want to build for ourselves, and what we kind of want to grow so maybe some of you are growing your own business or thoughts of growing your own business in these two weeks it seems like it's judgment time and there's going to be this new adventure for you here ace of wands new creative beginning it seems like maybe there might be a new passion project something um, that you want to start kind of create uh, creatively here uh, that might be under or on the way for you um, whatever it is here it's looking real 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 positive um, it's looking like this is something that you want to go after and I'm really feeling this great energy for you of really um of really pushing I guess the um <clears throat> pushing it pushing on what you want and going after it here and knowing that the universe kind of has your back is what I'm feeling with this they, they you know they're they're here to kind of support you again having the page of pentacles and the ace of wands in the same reading beautiful Beautiful, and you have the two of wands here, and you have the six of wands. It's like almost like guaranteed success, uh, success and things will be kind of easier for you here. King of wands reversed. What's this king of wands? Interesting, okay, there's some energies around you here. I have the King of Wands reversed. Um, Leo, it could represent you that you might be having feeling like even right now you're not having this creative um, 
stamina, you're not really feeling creative, you're feeling down the weather, maybe you're a little bit grumpy, you have a little bit of a temper going, I'm just going to say that. Just notice that and just notice that um, it might be because uh, you might be overindulging in something here, which is causing you to be less creative. So maybe check your whatever it is that you overindulge in, check your drinking, check your spending um, here, whatever it is it, that's making you kind of feel out of balance, that's making your energies um, feel overwhelmed or that you're indulging too much in, just watch it because it might be um, fucking up your creative flow is what I'm going to say here or causing you to uh, be in a state that's uncreative or be in a state that's more moving towards anger um, we have the queen of swords here which is all about logic the queen of swords is kind of um logical in the approach she sees the, the vision forward for herself she really has a clear understanding and i think that's what they're saying is just have a clear kind of um, connection on the path here it doesn't really feel like someone else coming in um to it doesn't really feel like someone else like coming into um what am i trying to say here uh someone else like and this is another person to that can represent like a can represent anyone anyone intellectual maybe an old kind of feminine energy but it, for me this is what it represents is there needs to be kind of a clear plan and a clear strategy here there is this kind of new beginning where work is involved we got to make sure that we are kind of on um um what was i going to say uh that we're sorry i just got a text and then i got i was like huh um, that we're more on the uh, what we want to create for ourselves here, that we have that clear vision, that our mind is very clear here. Whatever it is that we we're doing too much of or indulging in a little bit too much, um, it's gonna, not going to knock us because we have a kind of a clear vision, Leo. Okay, what else from Leo is coming in this two weeks? It looks really, really bright for you. What else we got going on for Leo in this two weeks? You're gonna be feeling very good about yourself. You're gonna be feeling very good about um, just what you're bringing to the table. Um, your self-worth is kind of gonna be on a high. You're gonna really uh, see yourself as this nine of pentacles here. See your self-worth. Um, see yourself kind of um, in this light of what you have to offer. Um, it seems like before you might have been a little bit defeated. Um, you might have felt like you were battling against that, maybe battling against your worth, your self-worth, um, or your value, what you're gonna bring to the table. But again, it's we're shifting out of um, this energy and moving into this energy of you see your value, you see what you bring um, to the table, and you are um, happy about that. Uh, so good, I'm, I'm real excited for this. It seems like, again, that you are, um, Again, it seems like you're in this kind of great space that is allowing you to open yourself up here, make the changes that you need to. Your, your energy is really balanced. You're seeing that the universe has your back. It's setting yourself up here for something great. Um, and whatever it is, this kind of stuff that you've noticed before that was kind of killing your creativity, you're overindulging with, it seems like you're kind of moving on from it and things are going to start to move in your favor on this path. So I want to pull some energy oracle for you. Here. There he is. Yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, it's the energy that I'm exactly um, feeling right now. So, uh, I'll tie it up. Reversed, which is great to have. The card reverse is telling you that the ties that bind you are about to break loose. A previously stuck situation is opening up and the restrictions are clearing out. This card reverse also indicates that you are ready to break free from the habits and patterns that have kept you tied up for so long. Be ready to free yourself. You have all the power and clarity, that's the queen of swords, um, all the clarity at this point. So untie the binds of the patterns that have stopped you from being authentic and empowered. Now is the time to liberate yourself. And that's exactly what the energy I'm feeling right now. And I'm feeling it a lot kind of um, in my solar plexus area of just that I am. I'm really feeling that liberated energy. Liberate yourself. You are empowered. You are your authentic self. And that's what I'm kind of feeling from this too. You, it's feeling that charge of energy, especially in there. Um, which is 
great. This is gonna be, I'm excited. Like I'm, I'm, I'm giddy for you to be honest, Leo. I'm giddy. Things are kind of working out. Okay, so I have yin and yang reversed. This card reverse reveals a yang cycle, which is one of action, outgoing energy, and a time calls for a more logical approach to thing. But the logic needs to be applied with purposeful action. Again, back to the Queen of Swords here, purposeful action moving forward. The cycle is often marked by creativity, by new beginnings, and sometimes significant outer change. Let yourself apply more forceful energy to the tasks at hand and take advantage of this highly charged time. Again, that charge that I'm feeling here, right? With this new creative beginning, this empowerment that's coming through here. Um, Leo, I love that for you. Okay, and then we're also doing the Star Seed Oracle here. So I'm just gonna find it. Where are you, Christmas? Black? Okay, your life is your life is a canvas. Artist, manifestation, creative accountability. You're the artist of your life, and life is a canvas. Take responsibility for your ability to create. Earth is then known as a planet as manifestations. Your present moment is based upon past thoughts and belief. Your current thoughts determine your future. What kind of life do you want to create for the future? What are you being called to create? Reconnect with the manifesting power and align your thoughts, feelings, and actions um, with the vibration that matches them. It's never too late to start, no experience is required. All you need is an open heart and mind to con uh, and constant daily action. A lot of daily action coming out in these cards as well. So make sure we are putting in that effort and noticing the things, especially with what I was saying with this overindulgent, what is kind of blocking us from uh, bringing our creative potential. If you're not sure what you'd like to create, start instead by feeling a deep gratitude of all the good things in your life right now. State out loud what you're most thankful for. Look for the good in your life and one thing will be certain, you'll find yourself attracting more and more good experiences into the world, the wheel of fortune, right? This card is inviting you to see your entire life as a canvas and uh, the picture is completely up to you. Color it with your thoughts and feelings, create the life that you most want to live. You may be also called to uh, be more creative in everyday life what have you been called to create and how can you express yourself more creatively? What are you being called to create in your life right now? Some um, mega creative energy coming in for you, Leo. Um, I'm sorry this reading was a little bit shorter than my usual readings, but hey, you don't need a long reading. Everything is looking up amazing. So um, I hope you have a great, and it sounds like you will, end of the month. Um, this was your reading from the 16th to the 31st. I hope this helped.